Uh, my next guest coming out, we love this guy. It's the second time I think it's been on the show. He's a good guy. Please welcome chiropractor to the Dayton Dragons, Dr. Matthew D. Roberts, right here, the man himself. Boy, have I got a question for you. Is it my understanding that you adjust him? As a matter of fact, yeah, he is a, he's a patient of mine. And how do you go about doing that? Well, one wrong move, you hurt that shoulder, and boy, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, it's it's exactly what Brandon said with football. Yeah. Uh, you know, he uses technique on the football field. Uh, the guy across the line from him may be maybe a little bit bigger. I don't know, but maybe a little bit bigger, maybe mm -hmm. a, a little bit stronger. But using technique uh, is kind of the way to overcome that. So same thing. I mean, obviously, Brandon's a lot a lot bigger than I am, um, but. That's where technique comes in when you're treating patients. Mm -hmm. uh, you use the proper technique, and you'd be able to uh, you'd be able to adjust pretty much anybody. You know, I'm so grateful because you know how I feel about chiropractors. They're yes. number one in my book. And now, most teams, I think you've told me, most teams have their own chiropractor on staff. As on a, yeah, day. as a matter of fact, like I said, I'm, I'm with the Dayton Dragons, but going to football, uh, even though we got baseball season coming up. Uh, I believe every NFL team at this point now has a chiropractor. Uh, I spoke with Brandon when he first came in. Uh, he was referred to me by another athletic trainer, um, and he said that with the with the Colts, the one thing that was nice is they got adjusted at least twice a week. Uh, that the chiropractor would come in, and uh, you know, it's starting to become one of the, uh, one of those things where the medical field are realizing a team approach is better to healthcare as well. Right. Uh, so. I'm, I'm not here to, to, to speak against any other profession. The best thing is what's good for the patient, good for the athlete. So if you can combine those professions such as you know, the medical doctor, the athletic trainer, the chiropractor, the orthopedic surgeon, the massage therapist, the nutritionist. Medical team. Medical team. It's yeah. a team approach and what's best for the patient or the athlete. And I know there are people who can reach into a trunk and stretch and be out of, and throw their back out. I threw my back out sitting at a piano instead of sitting there properly. Right. Most of the time with, with those types of injuries, it's not exactly what you do. So I've had people come in and they say, well, I've ruptured a disc. I have, I have actually uh, ruptured a disc. I've caused uh, something where I bent down to tie my shoe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they, now is it their shoestring that is so heavy that caused their back to rupture? No. Yeah. Usually what it is is it's... Um, things where they have postural deviations over a period of time. They have had multiple injuries over a period of time, very small. It's like a rope, a rope that's holding something, but it eventually frays and the rope breaks. That's when there's a problem. So uh, many times with, with being adjusted and, and being treated, whether it be medical care, whether it be chiropractic, uh, the best kind of care is more maintenance care versus sick care. Because once you get the sick care, now you've got problems. So the best thing to do is to take care of yourself before that even becomes an issue. Um, I was curious, uh, in football, does carpal tunnel ever come into the picture with football injuries? Not as much. Not as uh, much? No, I mean, carpal tunnel is, is more of uh, something with uh, fine motor hand movement. Mm -hmm. uh, there, you know, And then also, a lot of times, to be honest with you, a lot of desk jobs. Yeah. So with, with football, you get more of the traumatic injuries. Uh, you know, you talked about the, the concussions. I think um, the concussions have at least doubled um, in the past 10 years to over 4 million concussions mm -hmm. a year. Um, wow. that, that's actually happening. That's a lot. The top, th the top sport is football, of course. The second one is, uh, is hockey. And believe it or not, the third one is, is girls' soccer. Yeah. So when you start looking at those statistics, uh, it's like you said, te teaching technique, uh, doing uh, the proper coaching, and those types of things will help along with the medical team to, to try and prevent those injuries. Mm -hmm. So with, with training, uh, you know, squats aren't for everyone. Yeah. They're for the person who can do them correctly. Mm -hmm. So all these power lifts and all these functional movements, what you want to do is you want to make these movements and these exercises correlate with whatever sport or activity the person is doing. Bodybuilding is totally different than football. Football players are big and strong. Bodybuilders are big and strong, but that training is totally different. So what you, what you got to look at is what functional movements 
and what patterns of, of exercise are going to fit that person's person. sport. Yeah, I see. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, like a throwing athlete. So we're getting ready. I said I'm the chiropractor for the Dayton Dragons. So with the Dragons, baseball players, they train differently than football right. players, train differently than basketball players. Uh, you know, with football, you know, you've got 35 seconds in between plays. Um, so, you know, it's a quick burst, and then you have 35 seconds to recover and you go back. With baseball, I mean, the fat, you know, the furthest they run, you know, 90 foot around the bases, and you're going from base to base. So really, uh, you know, that's not just 90 feet. Obviously, they're running around and in the outfield, but there's a lot of resting time as well. So yeah. they're going to train differently. So really, when you look at these athletes and you look at different sports, you've got to really focus in the training and their treatment on what sport that they play. That specific sport yes. makes sense to me. As, along sense. with the nutrition. I mean, you talked about fitness and nutrition. Mm -hmm. I, I, nutrition plays a big role in my practice as oh, well yes. um, because I, I believe that if we can give the body the things it needs to heal and prevent certain injuries, then it's going to accept my treatment better. They're going to perform better. They're going to function better. So that's another thing as well that I think we're missing, especially in the lower level um, mm -hmm. athletes. So meaning junior high, high school, they all want to take certain supplements and things that really if we could teach them to eat good food yeah. and get them proper supplementation, their health is going to be a, it's much that's better. That's why they used to call them supplements because they weren't eating. Through. I, don't, I, I believe there's um, people out there that train in nutrition that they don't even eat three well-balanced meals a day because it takes some thought and concentration. You're the man. I'm telling All you, right, thanks for coming. Thanks a lot.